What's up guys, today I have this Logitech Harmony Hub. This controls your IR devices such as your TV, cable box, DVD player, and say you forgot the account that it's linked on or you bought this on eBay um, and you bought it used, or you just need to reset up the Wi-Fi configuration. I'm going to show you how to factory reset this device here and it's very easy if you follow these simple steps. So what we're first gonna do is we're gonna press and hold down the pair and reset button on the back. And while we're keeping that held down, we're gonna unplug the device and then plug it back in. All right, so I've just unplugged the device while keeping my hand on the pair and reset button, and then I've plugged the device back in. Now we're gonna wait a second and then just let go. Now on the front of the device, it should blink red rapidly. And then what it's gonna do is it's gonna turn solid red and then it's gonna blink slow red and that's when it's ready to pair. So we'll let it just sit there. It takes about a minute or two minutes to go through its process to reset. In the meantime, let's go to the app store and download the Harmony app. So while that is downloading, you can see the Harmony hub has gone to a solid red state. And after about 30 seconds to another minute, it should go into a blinking red state. So we're gonna scroll up here, go to, into our Harmony Hub app. Now make sure your Bluetooth is turned on. It's gonna automatically look for your hub via Bluetooth. So do set up a new hub. Now it also plays this video. What it's actually doing is it's trying to look for the hub right now. Um, and once it picks it up, it's going to ask you for your Wi-Fi password. So now it's asking for our current Wi-Fi password. And it's going to send this information over to the hub. Now we're going to join our Wi-Fi network. In the meantime, it's using the Bluetooth connection with the hub to send those credentials over to the hub so that the hub can also connect to the Wi-Fi network. Now this does take a couple minutes, so we'll just sit here. and it looks like it is communicating with the iPhone. All right, on the iPhone now we have our sign in. So I'm gonna link it with my Gmail. All right, now we're going to agree to the user agreement. Um, now we're going to set it up as a new one. It looked like it did pick it up from the old account, but to make this video more thorough, I'm gonna set it up as a new remote. All right, so once we're in here, it gives us a little bit of information. I don't, it usually always does this. I'm not sure why. It's kind of confusing because it tells you about keyboards, all this other stuff. But you can just scroll to the right. This is how we go through our menu. We're going to set up a new thing. Devices found on our network. I don't really want to set up my Apple TV. We'll skip that. Um, we're going to add a TV here, so entertainment device, Samsung, and we're going to type in our model number to our TV, which is listed on the back here. All right, great. It's found our Samsung TV. Now we can scroll to next. You can also add more devices right here. However, I won't do that now. All right, now it wants us to test our device. So we're gonna press on and voila, Smart TV has turned on. So let's now go to next. And now we can create the activity watch TV. What that actually does is say if you want to watch TV, it can power on your TV and your stereo device all at one time. Okay, my devices are on. And then we can also set the input. So say, um, you know, when you say watch TV, you want it to go to HDMI or whatever because your cable box is on HDMI. For me, I just have an antenna, so I'm going to choose TV. No, thank you. We just the and it looks like it's working. 
So we'll hit yes. Test later because we've already confirmed it works. We're going to skip our favorite channels and that's done. And now we're done with the setup. So now once we're in our Harmony Hub app, we can tap on this. It'll start the process. It's gonna automatically turn the TV on, switch the input to TV mode. And you can see here, the TV is on. Now we have our controller. And let's turn TV off here. And then bam, it should power off. There you go.